So as we've been reporting, drones are playing a key role in Ukraine's counteroffensive against Russia's invasion. One is proving so effective that Ukrainian forces are singing its praises, literally. CNN's Jovanna Karatze has this exclusive report. This Ukrainian song has gone viral in Ukraine and beyond. It's an ode to a drone. Bayraktar. The Bayraktar, the Turkish-made weapon Ukrainian officials are touting as one of the most effective in their arsenal that's played a part in slowing down the Russian advance. The Bayraktar TB2 has been operational for years, described as a game changer in recent conflicts like Libya and Nagorno-Karabakh, but it is Ukraine that has catapulted it to worldwide fame. Its success not only on the battlefield. Videos of strikes against Russian military targets like this one released by Ukraine's Ministry of Defense on social media have also made it a key part of Ukraine's information war. We've gotten rare access to this production facility here in Turkey, but because of the nature of this industry, we are very restricted in what we can film and what we can show. Selçuk Bayraktar, the drone's creator, gives us a mostly off-camera tour of the Baykar Defense Company's headquarters in Istanbul. The company's pride, Kizil Elma, Turkey's first unmanned fighter jet, has just hit the production line. But the centerpiece here is the drone everyone is talking about. Bayraktar TV2 is a tactical mail class UAV and it's doing what it was designed to do and what it was upgraded to do. In this exclusive CNN interview, Bayraktar measures his words carefully. He's also the son-in-law of the Turkish president who maintains close ties with both Russia and Ukraine and has emerged as a key mediator. You know, I don't want to be brag about the technology when people are giving their lives up. People are resisting and defending their homeland from an illegal occupation. That's what brave people of Ukraine and its leadership has done. Just at the same time, of course, you need technology, you need you know, high tech, and you need your own indigenous defense capacity. But when people's lives are on the line and when Children are, even children are dying and civilians are dying. Uh, I don't want to compare that to any sort of technology. Turkey's drone sales to Kyiv have been a major irritant for Russia long before this war. Ukraine got its first Bayraktar TB2s in 2019. It's ordered at least 36 of those drones so far. But it's not only a client. It produces engines for the more advanced Akinci drone and was about to begin co-producing Turkish drones, plans that were disrupted by the invasion. So that was, Bayrak um, Dars heard the song dedicated to his namesake drone. He knows very well the phenomenon it has become in well, Ukraine. I think it's uh, one of the symbols of resistance, and it gives them hope, I think. Hope in a battle Ukrainians are fighting on all fronts. The Bayraktar drones are part of the larger social media campaign that is executed very well by the Ukrainian military and civilians. And they are creating the impression that the Russian military is in fact losing and that the Russian military is vulnerable. Again, Bayraktar is not the only solution out there and it isn't necessarily a solution that is going to save um, the Ukrainian military because after all, this is a ground war. But having a drone like Bayraktar in the sky that can conduct surveillance, that can launch strikes, and having the videos of those strikes multiply on social media is a great morale booster. It is also a great tactical victory as well. This social media video shows civilians in the city of Kherson protesting against Russian forces. They play them the Bayraktar song. Bayraktar! One of the countless moments of resistance by a nation using all it's got to stand up to the invader. Jemana Karache, CNN, Istanbul.